And speaking of reading, a new program at a school in Indianapolis is helping students continue to learn while they're not in school. Yes, Steph, it is actually a vending machine, not for chips though, but for books. It's providing another option for students who just love to read. Lindsay Stone has that story. Anytime one of the students walks in here, that's the first thing they, oh. This isn't your standard vending machine. I'm gonna get number one. And I press enter. This is our brand new uh, book vending machine. Colleen Turner is a language teacher at Meredith Nicholson School 96. Students uh, can put a golden coin in the machine and select a book and then they will be able to keep that book forever. Students earn coins through different incentives like attendance and reaching academic goals. There's chapter books, pages books, and also different kind of ones like in Spanish and English. Teachers hope this will incentivize reading for students whose learning was disrupted by the pandemic. The third graders were hit hardest by the pandemic, so we're really pushing the reading and giving them extra support. One in five Indiana students are behind in reading, according to recent iRead data. Teachers hope offering the books for students to keep will inspire them to learn outside of school and improve their reading abilities. The reading opens the world. The books are purchased through the school's budget, but they're accepting new book donations. You just put it in like this, and then you click on the number you want. IPS plans to install a book vending machine in every elementary school in the district. It's only going to help them down the road. So our goal for them long term is so that they graduate from high school and then make a great choice about after graduation. So we know that this is just going to make an impact for them each year as they keep going through our school system.